Opposition leader Peter Dutton and the Liberal National Party have claimed victory in the Fadden by-election, meaning Cameron Colwell will replace Stuart Robert in the seat. Lauren Forbes is on the Gold Coast and has more. It was a solid win last night for Peter Dutton and the Liberal Party. <laughs> Recording a swing of more than 2% against the government in the Fadden by-election. It was a strong result and I think an unexpectedly strong result and a real credit to Cameron Caldwell and the LNP team in Fadden. It's a comprehensive win for Cameron Caldwell, cost of living successfully delivering in victory, despite robo-debt controversy surrounding outgoing Minister Stuart Robert. In two-party preferred, it's about a 2.4% swing back to the coalition, making up about two-thirds of the ground lost in the 2022 federal election. There's been a war of words over whether the Fadden results is a win for the LNP. Labor wasn't expecting another historic Aston-like result, where it won a seat off the opposition in April. The Deputy Prime Minister argues the coalition's result is an underperformance for a seat that is essentially blue ribbon heartland. I actually think this is a pretty um, lethargic result for the opposition. We obviously see that Queensland going into the next election um, is, a, is a place of a, a significant opportunity for, uh, for the government. The idea that Peter Dutton, uh, as a Queenslander who is leading the Liberal Party, would take any comfort out of this result at all, uh, frankly, is ridiculous. It's obviously a seat that we've never held before. Mr Miles made a point, Fadden, is a seat Labor has never held before but that's not entirely right. They did briefly hold it in 1983 and 1984. Opposition Deputy Leader Susan Lee has taken aim at Labor, saying their performance wasn't convincing enough. Richard Miles was sent out this morning to sort of mop up the mess, having had Labor Party people actually saying that Labor should win the seat of Fadden. It wasn't a convincing performance. The coalition has made up ground where it was lost last year and is now looking to build up more momentum before Parliament returns from its winter break. Lauren Forbes, Sky News Gold Coast.